PDGA says, uh, you know what? Let's come up with some new rules potentially for 2025. And I said this, I said this on debate night. So you guys will probably, if you guys listen to debate night on Thursday, you'll hear this again. And I think this perfectly sums up the PDGA. I think in one of the rooms, they have a fair room, like a carnival room. And on a wall, they have all those like balloons, right? All the balloons. And behind each balloon is a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper is like a crazy idea. Like, hey, let's cr- let's spend a million dollars on a rating system. Let's uh, charge a lot of money to send out magazines to people that no one listens. Let's not rent out the driving range at a world championship so players can't practice and have to throw into a net. Those are all in these pieces of paper. And randomly throughout the year, they just have an employee. We'll call him darts guy. Maybe it's the guy in the chat that's telling me there's a strategy in darts. Maybe it's that guy. He walks into this carnival room. He pull, picks up a dart and he just chucks it at the board and it pops the balloon. And then whatever behind that balloon, they're running with it. And this week it was timeouts and disc golf. What are we thinking there, Yuli? That's gonna call that's gonna save pace of play, timeouts, and disc golf. So not the time extensions. No, you get a timeout. Stas, you want to read this to the people for those that don't know what we're talking about here? Which balloon do you want me to hit? <laughs> yeah, so basically it says when it's their turn to throw a player may elect to take a 60-second timeout up to two times in a round. And, I mean, the player must indicate to the group that they wish to use their one of their timeouts. Timeouts may not be called retroactively. Uh, so I guess that's like back in time. So, uh, sure. Uh, each timeout used by a player is to be noted on the scorecard, and the timeout period expires once a player indicates to the card that they are all ready to throw or when the group notes that 60 seconds has expired and notifies the player at the time, the player must throw within 30 seconds as described in blah, 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 another rule. So here's the question though, Silas. Can I take 29 seconds, call timeout, yes. take 60 seconds, Oh call, yeah. ti- call yes. timeout, yeah take 60 seconds and then take another 29 yeah it, it it doesn't say anywhere in there that you can't okay so i can i could potentially take so, three minutes before i wanted to throw one of my shots yeah. my question is can you use it when you lose your disc oh to get an extra minute to look for your disc that's extra the best time minutes. to use it extra yeah. two minutes yeah, I well, mean, you could you could use you could get more than that. You get like well, four, three minutes. When is it? Okay, so it says when it's their turn to throw. So when in disc golf is it like your turn to throw? Technically, the time starts when if you're out, yeah. your card has to look for it. So you would they would all look for it. The three minutes would be up <laughs> one second before the three minutes is up. I would be like time time out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd, I'd keep and, looking and you for it, but one. your teammates don't I, have do to you keep have looking. To ma- do you have to make the T? Like, Ooh. what's the signal? Like, what if I go like this, and then I'm like, I never connected. <laughs> never called a timeout. Or like, when I would use a timeout, it's an I, I would like to think of it as an extension to my time. Yeah. So like when I'm putting, and it's crazy windy, and I can't get a wind read, Time out. I could just be like, time out. Now, here's the thing. Do you have to wait till the thir- the 60 oh, seconds yeah. is up? Do you have to take all out? 60? Uh, you should have to take all 60. Because in other sports, you can't come back That's before the time is up. You can't be like, okay, now. Oh, wind's gone. No, Boom. no, no. It says the timeout period expires once the player indicates to the card that they are ready to throw 
Oh, see, or I, I don't like, that's even worse. Notes that 60 seconds has expired. So you can literally go timeout. Or you could take your 29 seconds, win, 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 timeout. And now you have 60 more seconds just to wait for the wind to die. And then as soon as the wind dies, say, I'm good. And then putt. That's when I'm going to use it. Yeah. I mean, that's when you, all right, this is terrible. PDGA. This is terrible. How did this stuff get out outside Yuli? Like how I think is this, this not getting is, shot down before it gets like seen by the, the public? This one was actually brought to them, I believe by the board of the pro tour. So the, the well, I, I can tell them that Yuli, we've done this so many and times it's voted on by the, by the players as well. I didn't vote on anything. I want to put that out there. I did not see where I could vote on timeouts. Uh, we've talked about this many times. Golf literally does the same thing that we do. Just follow it with what they're doing. We should have an idea of no, how long. We're a niche sport and nobody wants to. No, dude, we're our own thing, Brody. We can't, we can't do that. We can't. That's so silly. They're pulling stuff from other sports, but they're pulling the wrong things, no, Yuli. No, we're our own thing. They're pulling the wrong stuff from these other sports. <laughs> Listen, when you're at a, you can uh, be at a muni course and you're playing around a golf, real golf, and you'll have the guy with the red yes, flag. He'll come, come up, up to you and say you need to play faster. And that's on a $18 round. That's not even a professional tournament. That's, That's not, not even a, a professional tournament. tournament. It's pretty simple. They go, "Hey, your your allotted time is this. You're behind that. Speed it up, yeah. bud." On average, you should play a, a, like on some of these yep. courses. They have it to like the specific hole of where they know, like, okay, par three, par four, par five. But for the ones like you're talking about, they just know, like, hey, through six holes, they should be at this time. Yep. Through nine, they should be at this time. Right? Other holes, they literally would do it hole by hole it's so easy that a municipal to, course can do it yuli that's I'd how that's how you should week, say it because the people in front of us had three holes in front of them i had to call phil hey phil these guys are slow it's, it still blows my mind it it takes literally yuli it takes literally 10 seconds to see if there is a group playing slow oh. on the pj tour 10 seconds why do they not have someone monitoring it I don't, I literally do not understand it. It makes it worse for everyone involved. The pros, the players, the spectators. It's crazy. To I'm me. so mad about it because there was a, I hadn't missed a putt yet in the <laughs> circle the whole time. And Z-Hush, I'm on that's the funny. island hole and I'm putting. Um, circle's edge putt. And it's windy, man. Super windy. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And there's a bunch of people and I'm waiting and finally, I just go, okay, I have to go. I've, I'm coming up on my time. I putt it. It's raging wind. I miss it barely high. And then we're backed up on the very next hole. And I remember sitting there. I'm like, see, this is what sucks about this rule is I'm playing by the rules, and it's costing me strokes. These people in front of us are violating the same rule that I just took a stroke and did it. Like, I could have waited there longer. Eventually, the wind's going to go down. As Mm -hmm. soon as I putted it, of course, the flag goes, all right, we're good. Yep. And that's what was frustrating is because now we're waiting on the group in front of us, and they're all taking forever. I mean, there's a guy that was in front of me. Bro. On 14, I walk up. There was already a shot that had been thrown from us. So we threw our tee shots. There was another shot thrown because they didn't get out of the gap. We get to the corner. We're waiting. They're on their second shots. Nobody in front of them. This certain guy grabs his disc, walks over to his lie. No. No. Goes back to his bag, grabs his range finder. Range and his bag's finds what, it. 20 feet away? It's not close. Yeah. Range finds it. Goes back to the bag, grabs another disc, sits there for another 30 to 40 seconds because the wind picks up. Oh, grass, grass, grass. We're sitting there. I didn't do this because I'm a professional, but I almost yelled at this person. I would have yelled like speed it up. The only reason I didn't is because the Island holes right here with people playing. 
It Hit was today, Junior. It was crazy. But those are the people. That guy is sitting there. He might have beat me. I'll have to look it up. He might have beat me. <laughs> and it, and I'm over there rushing putts that I never miss. And I miss one because there's a raging headwind. Like, come on. Edwin's trying to figure out who this guy is by getting intel on you. I got to tell you, Yuli, maybe the best thing we did, we love our Tour Life crew. We love you guys. The best thing we might have done is open the chat. Yeah. The chat is absolutely electric tonight. Shout out to everyone that's in our chat. Shout out to everyone that's watching us live. If you guys haven't, if you, I, I get it. Some people are doing stuff Tuesday nights. I get it. I get it. But if you're got nothing going on Tuesday nights, you got to get into the chat. It's absolutely electric. Shout out to the chat. Um, all right. Timeouts and disc golf, man. I'd never would have thought that that was going to pop up that. I mean, that, I think that's it's better than not having anything. I really do. I really do. I, 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 how are like, I think it makes it worse. Yuli. I think it makes it worse. It doesn't make it any better. I think it gets worse. Cause that's just another thing that no one, no one even does the 30 seconds. That means no one's going to do the 60 seconds. No, I think it'll. You get think better. people are all of a sudden going to enforce the sixty seconds if no one's enforcing the some, thirty? I think more people will enforce the thirty seconds. Yes, one hundred percent. Is there the timeout? Yeah. I don't know. About I that. think it's easy. I think a hundred percent, Brody. Listen to me. If you're sitting there and a guy goes over his time like this guy does, and you look at the guy and go, "Why? Why aren't you using your?" It's easier to say, "Why didn't you use your sixty seconds instead of just calling him on a rule violation?" Sure. One okay. Billion I, percent. I agree with you on that. What I'm saying is, I don't think people are going to hold people to their sixty seconds. What if the guy takes ninety seconds? Now it goes back to now we don't we can't say you should have used your timeout. I guess you can say you should have used your you, second timeout. You can, yeah. And then he uses his second timeout. I'm just it's, saying you're, you're I think now. It's e uh, listen, I think it's easier for the player to call this rule because I it's agree not with that. Uh, directly attacking the player. I think I it, agree I with don't, that. I don't care about the time. I don't care about anything. I think it's now easier for somebody who's taking longer than 30 seconds being like, hey, next time you got to use your 60 seconds. I, I agree. Up. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. I don't know if it speeds up pace of play. I don't. Know, I don't either. But at yeah. least, at least it's going to help with calls. I think. Yeah. I. Well, the problem is once you call your timeout, now you actually do have to tell them that they, they're not. They don't have any timeouts, and now you go back to square one. Well, it's just fine. You 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 probably at this case at this point in time either they call it for themselves and they know they're going over the time, so they're calling it on themselves. So they're already admitting that hey, I'm one of these people who I'm a time violator, and if they don't, then you can do it. But but you see what I'm saying? We're back to square one, where now you have to call them. You have to call them and get them to sh stroke themselves. Get strokes. Oh, you can just do it. No, no, if no. If you're somebody who's who's rolling through two time extensions I, around, it's the easiest thing I'm ever going to be able I'm to agreeing, do in my life. Hear me out. I agree with you that initially it is easier for me to say, hey, man, use your timeout. You're taking forever. I agree with you that that's easier than what it is right now. But once you tell them to do that twice and they're out of timeouts, It'll be we now easier. we now are back to where no, we are not. right no, now. No, 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 no. We are. We're no. back to where you now have to say like, "Hey, you're out of timeouts. We have to a start." A thousand percent. It's so, it will be so much easier for you to call that <laughs> okay. after you're like, "Dude, how have you used two of your timeouts? Like, <laughs> you're getting stroked now." We'll There's, hey, no, we'll see. Nobody we'll should see. be using their timeouts. Period. <laughs> I'm with you.